your former life was in a bliss of ignorance. Until you've awakened to the darkness waiting on the doorstep of our fragile dimension. Something terrible left its eons old slumber. And the reality, as we knew it, collapsed. The city of Arkham was pulled to somewhere not of this world. And its residents are in the shadows of true terror. As a survivor of this catastrophe, you should investigate the strange occurrences in the city and survive the rising darkness physically and mentally, if possible. <laughs> I just ruined a very nice intro. Hello everybody and welcome in. I was looking for a game that won't take a toll on my PC for the day. And uh, yeah, I won't be streaming for too long again because my PC is going to die, including me. I'm overheating. Everything is overheating. Uh, Stygian, where, where's the audio? Oh God, there we go, jeez. Panic, hello. I do have an air conditioning unit, it's sure, but it's uh, it's an old one, and it's not as good as it used to be. So I'm suffering. My PC is suffering. Everything in this room is currently suffering. How are you doing? How's it going? Oh my god. I'm extremely, extremely tired. I'm extremely sleepy. I'm hot, but that's uh, that comes to no surprise. And and I'm playing a game a game I haven't touched since Halloween uh, last year, which is a pretty interesting game. But apparently, you know, the, the run didn't last too long last time because I kept dying. So uh, Right now, I, I feel like this run as well is not going to do, is not going to go extremely well. I'm not feeling positive about it. It's, it's a very bizarre game and you have to micromanage everything when it comes to stats, and your character, and your choices and whatever. Also, you can say that your PC isn't like either. Well... <sighs> You're not wrong, it's next to me, it's right next to me, so every time I play um, a, a rather heavy game, let's just say, yesterday I was doing some uh, Red Dead Redemption, and let me say, after the 10 to 15 first minutes of uh, streaming, I could feel the heat coming right into my face, and I, I couldn't function. I was trying to find words to say, I was trying to be funny, I was trying to make jokes, and I'm like, <sighs> I can't. I should stop streaming right now. So yeah, I I couldn't last for longer than two hours. I tried, but in the end, it didn't even matter. Okay, let's create, let's go ahead and create a new character. Gender selection, let's go with the ladies, shall we? Okay, now I have to remember how to play the game. I don't remember anything since la last time I played. And I think the last run lasted for what, two hours? So that means I didn't do much, other than dying. Uh, also, I hope the, the voice, uh, not the voice, the game volume is okay, it's not too loud, it's not too low, you can both hear the game and myself. But we'll see that once we enter the game. Okay, so we got young characters are in their physical prime, but lack the experience of older characters. Starts the game with a bonus point in either physique, agility, or senses, but it penalized with two less skill points. Adult characters have a balance in physical aptitude and life experience. Starts the game with the default values in attribute and skill pools, and old characters are in physical decline, but have acquired more life experience and less life expectancy than the younger characters. Starts the game with a penalty in either physique, agility, or senses, but is awarded with two more skill points. So, from what I'm getting here is, this is probably easy mode, but it does, you know, the, the game does punish you for choosing uh, being young and inexperienced 
this should be the normal mode and this is probably the one we're gonna play and this is the one I tried last time I was a very very old lady let's go with uh, the adult for a change see what this is all about archetype academic aristocrat criminal Explorer. Okay, so every single one of them has different art attributes. Cultist. I don't remember what I played last time. And Soldier. Uh, let's see. Academic. The character used to be a research scientist at Miskatonic University. Set out on a remote expedition in a foreign land. He had no warning of the doom, patiently waiting beneath the frigid wastes. Medicine, psychology and science skills can be improved to the maximum level. Requires a minimum score of 6 in mind. And there's a background as well. Which is the profession, as far as I can understand here. Okay, so this one has a called science speechcraft. I'm always into speechcraft. Firearms, stealth, subterfuge. Hmm... Not one of my priorities, I must say. Explorer, Athletics, Firearms and Survival. That might be a good choice. Investigator. Uh, firearms and Psychology. Okay, so, so far, I'm kind of into the Academic, the Investigator, or the Explorer. Let's see what else we got. Occultist. Investigation, Medicine, and, on and Occult. Requires a, mi a minimum score of 6 in Wheel. Performer, athletics, speechcraft, and stealth. I don't, I don't quite understand. You, you guys probably haven't seen any of this game, but I, as I, as, as I have played for a bit, I don't understand how stealth works in this game in particular. But I would be interested to know more. Okay, so and the last one is soldier. Firearms, melee, and survival skill skills can be improved to the maximum level. A score of 6 in Physique. Okay, so... I'm thinking we're gonna go with... I'm kinda into Medicine. Here. Does any of the other ones we looked into... Have Medicine involved? No, they do not. Okay, so I'm gonna go with Academic. I think Academic was the one I chose last time. I was the only one who was healing. Scientist, researcher, psychiat psychiatrist. Uh, okay, let's see the differences here. You were a research assistant in Miskatonic University. Years of physical inactivity has taken its toll on you. Faster scientific and medical research. Minus one physical defense. Oof, okay. Minus one supernatural defense. One plus one psychology. You have a diploma in psych... I can't read that word in English. Psychi psychiatry? Psychiatry, isn't it? For a long time you believed that the supernatural existed only in people's minds. Physician... Oof. This one I don't like. The physician has minus one for both melee and range attacks. Iron Core, hello, good morning. How's it going? Oh boy, I'm gonna be extremely bad at this, and I already feel the heat coming from my PC, so I don't know how long this stream is going to be. Not too long, I suspect. <laughs> you got the pronunciation of psychiatry correct. Jeez. You know, I'm learning as I go. Because it's a, it's a Greek word, and I always have the word um, in in my mind before reading it in English, and I'm like... How do they even say it that way? So they, thank you for letting me know. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with the default here. I don't want the minuses. I don't know why the background is so specific in giving us uh, minus points for other types of professions. But I think the scientist, for me at least, being bad at this game is the, the, the safe bet. Alright, next. Belief system. Humanist, materialist, materi oh wait, humanistic, materialistic, nihilistic, divine, rational, and esoteric. Oh god, the, 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 I don't remember these things. 
Extra sanity can be gained by selecting humanistic dialogue choices and committing acts of altruism. Knowing me, annoying me in video games, yeah, this is the the way I would... <laughs> you noticed that the stream was up, so you decided to come and say hello. Thank you, I appreciate it. Always appreciate it. How are you doing, Iron? Extra sanity for uh, materialistic can be gained by selecting materialistic dialogue choices through material gain and acts of self-indulgence. Huh. Okay. Tempting, I must say. You're tired. You're trying to change your sleep schedule. Oh, ah, I get that. I was up until 10 a.m. this morning because I was watching Shake the Box. <clears throat> But other than that, I'm okay. It's it's extremely hot and I'm having uh, trouble sleeping because of insomnia either way. But I'm glad you're doing okay. Extra sanity can be gained by nihilistic dialogue choices. A nihilist cannot gain sanity through her actions but begins the game with higher mental resistance. Yes, Iron, uh, I'm, uh, I'm from Greece. Hence the, the bad accent, by the way. I'm trying. I'm trying. The movies have taught me well. Divine! The Black Day is God's final test of humanity. We failed him once, but we has, uh, he has given us the last chance of redemption. Those who are alive survived this for a reason. To prove that mankind is not allowed without hope. <clears throat> you love the accent, thank you. I'm doing my best. You know, as long as people are not, I like, uh, what did she just say? What, what? Come again? I'm good. And I get that a lot. Extra sanity can be gained by selecting faithful dialogue choices and through acts of divine worship. I don't know what that means, in game at least. So let's just keep that one. Rational, no matter how unusual or baffling, no phenomenon is beyond the boundaries of science and rational thought. There has to be an explanation. What must be done is to search and find it. Extra sanity can be gained by selecting rational dialogue choices and through scientific and medical research. Okay, this might be good for our character here because we are medicine people. Science or medicine skills recommended. Okay, that's good. <laughs> my English is fine, is this to understand? Uh, I, I just wish my vocabulary was Reacher, you know, I'm very limited when it comes to um, vocabulary. So, by the time I think a good joke, the 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 the, the joke is gone. You know, I lost. It's a lost opportunity, and I get that a lot when I'm streaming Engl in English because I'm thinking of a good joke, and by the time I'm able to um, convince my my brain to express it in a in a funny way, you know. The opportunity is gone. Okay, extra sanity is gained by selecting rational dialogue choices and through scientific and medical research. Okay, this one is under my radar. I want it. And this, esoteric. When supernatural becomes natural, the only path is to embrace the knowledge of the ancient forces behind the veil. We must tap into the hidden arts and realize our potential in order to survive and eventually dominate. Extra sanity can be gained by selecting esoteric dialogue choices and through occult research. Okay, so this is not for us. This is not for us. So I'm either... I'm torn between rational and humanistic. Only because of my profession, I think I'm gonna go uh, with rational. Belief systems determine how your character deals with the warped of uh, warped reality of the new Arkham. Properly role-playing your chosen belief system will grant valuable sanity points. <clears throat> I hope I did the right choice here. You have English as your first language and you have trouble thinking of what you want to say? I get that. I mean, sometimes I feel like... Greek, even though it's my first language, is way harder than English, especially when it comes to computer terms and stuff like that. I was never uh, fluent in um, computer terms in Greek at all. So I use English words and people are like, I don't understand what you just said in Greek. I mean, Greek people don't understand what I'm trying to say either. Okay. Uh, how is this... 
person young? In what way is this person young? I, I guess we just use uh, a portrait here. Oh, this one's very happy. I'm just gonna go with this lady. This is very classy. I just like her. Oh god, the, the name. Oh. I should have thought about that before I started the run. Hmm. How should we name our character? If you guys have any idea, I should go for it. I have something in my mind, it's stupid, it's dumb. Uh, it's connected to a person that lived in real life but uh, died horribly. And I think it's, uh, it's kind of mentioned in the events of this game. Oh, go ahead. Lurk all you want. Thank you for stopping by, though. I appreciate it, and I appreciate the lurk. Okay, I'm just gonna go with the usual name. I think I went for the same name last time. I, I have no brain cells right now to think because I'm, I'm dying because of the heat. So I'm just gonna go with Elizabeth, Elizabeth Short. But instead, let's do it. Let's change it to Elizabeth Long. Okay. Ooh! That's another part I forgot about. I didn't remember we can distribute stats individually. That's... that's pretty cool. Let's see now. We're mostly into medicine. Science, I would assume. Speechcraft is something I'm really, really into in games like this. Uh... Presence. What does present do for us? Presence determines your character's at attractiveness, charisma, as well as personal charm, and is frequently used with pitchcraft skill. Okay, so it, this is charm. Perfect. Uh, science, scientific research, psychology, medicine. Is the skill of preparing remedies, performing medical operations, and the general study of plants and pharmaceuticals affects medical research. Okay, so I am plop. I am going to plop a few uh, points in these. Um, I am going to be using weapons in the game. Stealth, survival, firearms. Both give firearms extra. Um, and survival, occult, and survival and presence. Okay. Medicine, psychology, and science skills. I'm already a six for that. I'm gonna add another point in mind. Let's do seven to agility. Six to physique and one to one more to presence, I guess. I I want to work with charm a lot in this game, if possible. Okay, agility, physique, mind. So, psychology is the skill of sensing the motives of others, conducting mental therapies, and studying neurotic phenomena. Affects mental resistance. So sure, I'm gonna put two points in that one. Funny how my medicine is quite low. Should we do like another point in medicine? Even though my mind is high enough. Speedscraft is, is okay. Science. Agility, science, psychology, and medicine. Skill of understanding the material world, making inventions, and grasping the principles of scientific facts in this world and the next. Affect scientific research. Um, we might want to do something with this in the future, if not now. But I don't have enough skills uh, for everything. I think we're getting five skills for these three here and seven for that one. I'm pretty happy with wow, how this one turned out. But as for that... Well... 
It depends on how fast we level up so we can uh, adjust the stats in the secondary tree. But I'm worried a bit. So if we start the game with uh, Spitzcraft 2, are we good to go? Or can I do that with 1 is the question. My presence is 5, it's not very high. I'm a little concerned about science. Skill of understanding, okay, Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Psychology. I'll just do one science, one psychology, so I balance things out here. Psychology is, uh... Wait. Motives of others conducting mental therapies and studying neurotic phenomena. Okay, I think, I, I think we're good here. Uh, anything else? No. There we go. Academic, adult, female, rational, scientist. This character used to be a research scientist in Miskatonic University, set out on a remote expedition in a foreign land. She had no warning of the doom patiently waiting beneath the frigid wastes. Oh, we, we read that already. Physical defense is 5, supernatural defense is 4 damage. Eh, my resistances are not great. My reaction time, though, because of the agility, is pretty good. Healthy, insane, okay, confirm. Venturing into the attic. Even if you avoid direct confrontation with supernatural beings, merely encountering them will inflict its toll on your sanity. Shit. <laughs> I told you I forgot how to play this game. I am not ready. That is a lo a loading screen, all right. That is long. Really long. Exceptionally long. I thought the game died on me because of my choices. A year has passed since your encounter with a peculiar fellow known as the Dismal Man. When last you met, he instructed you, Find me beyond Arkham after the Black Day. At the time, these words did not mean much to you, but soon after you would come to understand. On what is now known as the Black Day, under the shadow of the Awakened, the world you knew vanished, and with it your hopes, future, and loved ones. For reasons unknown, the city of Arkham has separated from the carcass of Earth and exiled to another to other place under alien stars at Twilight Realm. I was reading that. Unlike many others, you survived body and mind mostly intact. Ever since, you have existed from day to day in the grey gloom of the old eel house, waiting for that enigmatic man to call. A man whose very existence you are now beginning to question. Till you wake into another layer of the nightmare. Until the visit at the old attic. We made it, I've read it! Hello? How dare you, I was in my underwear. Rude. Two lamps in darkness. Journal updated. Now do you remember how to look our journal? Oh, there it is. Easy. The footsteps of the dismal man. Find him. Two lamps in darkness. Follow, follow the dismal man into the streets of Arkham. Okay. Can I have the lamp, please? Because it's freaking dark in here. Don't put it in your pocket. Use it, you fool. Oh boy. Can I drug things here? Eh. Or put some clothes on? That would be great. Empty cures in canister. This is everything I own. Where are my clothes? Well. 
I remember this being a point and click, so I'm gonna drive you nuts with point and clicking. <laughs> Jimmy! Jimmy! How are you? What are you up to? Tell me all about it. Good morning. A chest. It's locked. Where are my clothes? Can I move my character character with was? No. Unfortunately, you have to bear with me and hear me clicking with my mouse. Because I can I can't do any better. I guess we're going downstairs half naked. Is that the answer? I don't see uh, any other <gasps> There he is. Oh my god, he's so fast. Why are you so fast? I thought it said the cock is dead. Long live the cock. It's it's closed. Here's the door. This is alright, it's just me. Walking down the street in my underwear. You're going to fail at it? But you're headed down to the water now? You're going fishing? Oh, please, please tell me more. I want to know what kind of fish. What the hell? I said I played this game before. I don't remember any of his stuff. That's cute. It's funny how I don't question any of the things happening around here. That escalated. Excuse me? <laughs> I just woke up and lost 15 sanity. Is is this how it works every time you wake up after a nightmare and you lose sanity? I should be crazy right now, in real life. Okay, what do we have? We com Apparently we completed one of the quests. At the gates of Miskatonic. Inspect the entrance to Miskatonic University. Bloop. Can I open it now? Yes. That is a lot of stuff. Take everything. This decayed fragments of furniture betray the craftsmanship of talented carpenters. How heartbreaking to see their fine work reduced to a pile of scrap. Oh, oh, oh. I, I don't know why the game is freezing. It's not a very... Basic enabled, maybe? Apply. Let's save it while we're, while we're at it. <laughs> Can't wait for the pictures, Jimmy. Alright, so we took that one. Anything else we can do around here? In the gaps between the encroaching vein root, this grimy window offers a glimpse of the dark, dismal street below. Oh, uh, Jimmy, where are you currently? Are you still in New Jersey? You you can be, right? I'm stupid. Don't don't answer that. I know the answer to that. I'm I'm dumb. Let's have a sip of coffee. All right. Let's get dressed. Put it on, lady. What do we have here? A few cigs? You don't you don't call 200 cigarettes a few cigs. That's a lot of cigarettes. We have a gun. We 
equip it. Can I just put that somewhere else or is it automatically reloaded for me? A blank notebook. Lo lo laudanum? Laudanum? I, I don't know how to say that word. Greek has ruined my life! Servo magnifier and an advanced magnification device. But I'm not sleeping with anybody right now. I don't have to check. Camping supplies, a complete kit of camping supplies for outdoors living. Nerve tonic, a sedative. This will bring my sanity back. How much I lost? I lost... 15? After the dream? But do I really, really want to use that? No, I, I lost 15. I think I'm gonna hold on to this. Uh, rations, bottle of clean water, chemistry set. Uh, what is that? Chemistry set enables the user to analyze and craft various chemical solutions. And this is the Miskatonic Diploma. The doctorate diploma from Miskatonic University. Is this important to have? I, I don't know why. Unless I have to show it to people. Say, hey, I'm a doctor! Trust me. I'm a doctor. Alright. I can equip that one as well. I don't know why, but I did. Uh, I have no idea where everything goes, so I'm just gonna click on everything now that we started the game. I think this is all I can equip in these slots. Uh, I don't have a hat. Okay. I think I'm ready to go downstairs. We got everything. The frames are dying a little bit, but not sure why. He is too busy playing. We're in the middle of a conversation here. Oh, okay, sure. If you'll excuse me. Who, who said that? Who did that? Who said E? Yeah, it's the cook is dead, not <clears throat> only serving cans. Nice. Best bar ever. You see Marino, the manager and bartender of the Old Eel. He's been your host for almost a year now. I'm here for a year? How can I, fo I, how can I afford this? Also, I didn't see any money in my pockets. Charging in exchange the last of your precious resources. Precious, sorry. Resources. He has a tendency to suck you dry whenever he gets the opportunity. I, I think... I, I think... I am broke at this point? Good morning, Cornuto. Oh, he's Italian. If you can call this never-ending fucking twilight morning, what was all that hurly barely upstairs? About the dreams? <laughs> it's nothing that concerns you. You could say that. Why am I not surprised? I recommend hitting the bottle before going to sleep. Makes things easier. I don't think I can afford a bottle of anything. Since you're awake, let's talk about the six you owe me. Oh, the... the no, okay, now I remember. The, the currency in the game is cigarettes. You were too drunk to pay yesterday and told me to remind you later, remember? Thank God we took speed scratch, uh, speed scratch, right? <laughs> Speechcraft, baby. Oh, you gotta go? Good luck, Jimmy. Have a lot of fun. Okay, I uh, I missed something here. Pondy, you pronounced laudanum correctly. It's an old tincture containing opium. Co oh, jeez, you know your medicine. And morphine was used pain medication in this time period. The first time I heard about this was when I played Amnesia The Dark Descent. Um, and I remember it from there. And I do, uh, and I did hear it afterwards in Hell on Wheels TV series. It was a very addictive medicine. As well, very um, effective, but addictive. Thank you, Jamie. I don't think I'm gonna be live for too long, because... 
it's too hot in here and I can barely think. I can barely function. But I'll try. Okay. What are our options here? But I don't see any bruises on myself and I am if I'm unhurt, I must have paid the bill. Woo! Didn't drink yesterday Marino. The trick is getting old Marino. Really? I uh, did I drink that much? How much do I owe you? Obviously, I'm going to go for the, sp the speechcraft option, but I don't see any bruises on myself, and if I'm unhurt, I must have paid the bill. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> you as well? Amnesia taught you about la laudanum. You didn't know what it was, so you looked it up when you were playing the game. Yeah, they were using it a lot, way back when, back in the day. He seems dispirited by your argument. I'm not in the mood for a pissing contest. I'll have all your sigs eventually. Later, Cornuto. I don't remember what Cornuto means. I think it's bad, like um, like a cheap woman or something, like a whore, a hooker. I don't know. It's not. It's not polite for once. I remember that much from uh, what I've learned from Italian. What a nice guy. Well, the cook is still dead. We're in the middle of a conversation. Okay, how about you? You see an, an eccentric middle-aged man completely focused on the darts game he alone he's alone playing. Exaltation all but radiates from this old fellow. I can't read blah. <laughs> Jesus. C -c Care for a game of c -c cricket? You don't get a chance to play against the world champion every day. He passes several of his darts to you. Who are you? Didn't I just tell you? I'm the d d darts champion of the world. I'm also called Herschel. I, I feel the signs again. A new challenger approaches. Another f fool to vanquish. Is it you? Is there a prize? Praise? Nothing come c closer to the thrill of the darts. Tobacco? Rubbish. But feeling the texture of the stem in your hand, the steel point savagely p p p penetrating the board, it's priceless. And the prize. You want cigarettes? Bit me then. Bit the world champion and you'll have more cigarettes than you'll ever w w w want. You see, I was a traveling salesman from Tom Rogers Cigarettes. That's, uh, that's interesting. Tell me more. Before I found my true self and became the champion. Damn those days. Herschel, go to Bain. Go to Boston. Herschel. Herschel, your sales performance is getting lower. We're disappointed, Herschel. Ah, uh, and the game? Now you're t t talking. He starts to tell you the rules of the game with rather too much enthusiasm. Test your skills in a game of darts with Herschel. Agility. Oh, baby, I'm, I'm so glad we uh, plopped some points into agility earlier. Let's do this. I've no idea what's happening. <laughs> Did we just win? Herschel looks as if he's stripped from all purpose. Glancing at his expressionless eyes, you feel like you're gazing right into the abyss. He starts to talk slowly. <laughs> Face it, Herschel, you lost. Chitter! Those are so mean, all of them. Don't be a spoil sport, I won. Chitter, 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 With its repetition, his spit starts to sound less and less rational until it turns into a frenzied howl. Did, did he pay me? Ow! What a son of a bitch! He did pay us after all, okay. <laughs> I lost five health because of his bullshit. Oh my god, what a dick. Oh, I'm gonna get you. Oh, I'm gonna get you. 
I'm I'm digging the the uh, the noir type of music here. Wow. Did the game zoom into this location in particular, or did it just move? Oh, my mouse. It was my mouse. Press F1 to learn the controls. Sure. Okay, C is character, G is grimoire. Grimoire? I inventory. Okay, these are easy. Highlight world objects. Oh, this is gonna be important. Quick save, quick load. We can saves come in this game? Sign me up, baby. Inventory shortcuts, double click, auto equip, uh, blah 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 blah, drop. Quick consume. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. My favorite key so far is Alt. And F5, obviously. Alright, let's save the game. Walk's face protects this establishment. You are not the guy I just dueled with. L -l let's duel. You see a typical Arkham resident, tired and decrepit looking. He looks at you uneasily. Excuse me, I'd like to ask you something. Leave me alone, madam. Life is hard enough without a bunch of foolish questions. I'm going to ask you regardless. How do you survive in Arkham? Put some microphone in this guy's face. Between the mob and the cult, you mean? I don't know, because so far someone else got crushed instead of me. Anyway, I doubt my luck will last much longer. Since the Black Day, I've thought every day would be my last. Tell me about the mob. He looks around in fear. The mob is the law. Who rules the mob? Walk's face. He whispers. <laughs> I can see you won't be much help to me. <laughs> no, let's not do that. Alright, who is he? Please, let's change the subject. You can sense his anxiety. Okay, if you will calm down. Uh, let's do that for now. Wait, no! No, no, wait. Tell me about the cult. Mad fanatics who devoted themselves to Cthulhu. Oh, Cthulhu. Okay, I was like, what, what the fuck is cool? Cthulhu and the other old ones. They rule the ruins of North Arkham across the Miskatonic River. The cult comes to the side of the river either to find new blood for their ranks or new victims to be sacrificed. I think that's what it meant here to be. Yeah, to be sacrificed in the rites. I'm not sure which is worse. How can I get to the other side of the river? I don't recommend it. There are things lurking in the water. Only the cult can pass the river at will. But I have no idea how. Sometimes you can see their boats on Miskatonic, all painted red. Crimson omens of doom. Another thing. Hurry it up! What do you know about the Black Day? Nothing more than you, I guess. We'd all seen the signs, right? People having the same nightmares, the mysterious disappearances, whole families massacred. We saw it coming but pretended everything was fine. I changed his voice like twice. The Black Day started with that apocalyptic roar, piercing deep into our minds. The sky melting, colors fading. I... I can't remember anything else. Tears come to his face. To his eyes, in particular. <sighs> it could be interpreted as much hyster hy uh, hysteria. Triggered by a cosmic event. Must be an explanation. Oh. oh, thank you. I got some of my sanity back. I'm glad I didn't use the juice to feel better. It was the end of days. What explanation are you talking about? We are alone. All alone This is in this purgatory, left to the mercy of tyrants and deviants. Deviants. He burst into tears. Oh no. No! I, st I still love you! Wait! Go away! Okay, I'll talk to this one. What's the deal with the wicker man? This tower depiction of one of the Elder Gods perches atop the naked base of a shattered statue. 
Queen, hello! How's it going? Welcome in. Good morning, good morning. Ah, let's have a sip of coffee here. I might have to reposition my legs on the chair. Okay, I think... I used the button by accident. I was clicking on my mute button. And I consumed uh, one of my rations, or was that automatic? I'm not sure. Maybe I was just hungry. By toppling down the statue of President Lincoln, the people of Arkham have chosen fear over liberty, surrendering their future to sub, uh, subjugation and the rule of the mob. Ma'am? You see a typical Arkham resident, tired and decrepit looking. She looks at you uneasily. <clears throat> Excuse me. You're pretty good. You're helping your aunt catalog her cards collection again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you want to be helpful. And she needs to start selling the duplicates ASAP. Yeah, you told me about that. One of your cards was super duper um, expensive in the market. I'm doing okay, Queen. Uh, I saw I saw what you typed yesterday in chat about the MRI. I'm glad everything went okay. And I hope your results are... You know... There's nothing wrong with the results, I'd rather say. But boy, it's, it's extremely hot uh, for this past week. Uh, I was saying earlier that my air conditioning unit is not working as intended. It's an old one. It's an old one. Uh, it certainly needs cleaning up, and uh, it's not doing a very good job at keeping this room nice and chilly as I'd like it to be. So my PC, my GPU is overheating. I am overheating. I can barely function during streams. But, and this is why I chose to play this game today, because playing Red Dead Redemption turns my PC into a, a portable heater, <laughs> so it's bad. <laughs> you lost it when she opened that pack. Yeah, that was crazy. How much did you say? 200? 500? That was insane. That was insane. What is that grotesque monument over there? The cult erected it in place of the old Lincoln statue. Grandfather Altar, they call it. Damned atrocity. Cultists come from across the river to sacrifice people who've been marked by the mob. Blood offerings to Grandfather Cthulhu. Cthulhu? Even the name freezes my blood. The Grandfather, they call him. The new god who was awakened on the Black Day with its brethren, the Great Old Ones. The fanatics of the cult torture, sacrifice and kill in their names. Why am I not surprised? Now if you'll excuse me. Uh, do they say different things about the cult and the mob? I'm curious about that. Uh, no, this is exactly the same as the other guy told us. Um, what stayed intact in this part of town? Not much, as you can see. There is the old eel house if you're looking for a few drinks and a roof over your, your head. Yeah, we were, we were there just a minute ago. And if you're planning to numb yourself, Richter's Drug Store is the place. Whoa, excuse me. The coffee got me. Oof, that was... <clears throat> I got the hiccups. You'll be fine if you stay away from the marsh warehouse, and I'm sure you know better than to hang around near the grandfather altar. Tell me about this warehouse. I know that it used to be run by the marsh family of Innsmouth. We'd been hearing that the place was being used for bootleggings and sorts. Only ghouls occupy it now. Beasts that rend flesh from your bones. Sounds delightful. What do you know about the marshes? Not much. 
I know that they are the ruling family of Innsmouth. Their great-grandfather, Obd Marsh, was an important figure in the town's past, I reckon. Reclusive weird folk, these Innsmouthians. Uh, what are these ghouls you mentioned? Never seen one with my own eyes, but I've seen what they can do to people. They say they are dog-like demons, feral parodies of men. They creep out of the dark to prey upon us. You can hear their eerie howls throughout Arkham. Tell me about... Uh, Richter's drugstore. That slimy bastard old Richter runs the only remaining pharmacy in Arkham. But don't be fooled. His business is not medicine. He deals drugs. Richter produces mixes and, of course, sells all kinds of drugs to anyone interested in a small escapade of th from this nightmare. He is valuable to the mob and he knows it. There's been some ugly rumors about him for some time now. I want to know more. Uh, rumors of him taking advantage of his regular customers and sort of dreadful stuff. Uh, did she talk about their warehouse? Did we ask about this? No, yeah, she did tell us about this. How about the old eel house? The old eel house was a shady place even before the Black Day. We've been hearing that the owner, Marino, has some connections with the Mafia in the West. The bar took the disguise of a restaurant when the prohibition came. As you can guess, there is no need for that anymore. You can rent a bed, or let's say a dirty buttress, in the attic if you don't have a place to go and get some moonshine from the bar below. Another thing... Uh... If it's your last... Well, we don't have anything else to ask you. Let's go that away. Ah! Give me a sec! <laughs> the screen changed. I jump scared myself by almost dropping my coffee. Ooh, looty loots. A few seeds. Why, hello. The barren, the broken. Excuse me, mister? The wretched creature before you can hardly be described as human. It is wearing odd anachronistic clothes anachronic excuse me. Anachronistic clothes and has wrapped its face and hands in tattered rags. Its cringing confused movements further verify the, stat the status of this unfortunate outcast. Give me a second here, cause my my nose and my uh, allergies is uh, are uh, freaking out here. As if the heat wasn't enough. Oh god. I'm so sorry about that. The humanoid creature is talking with itself in an uneasy, guttural tone. His voice is like a cold breeze blowing from beyond the grave. Why have the... Oh, sorry. No. <clears throat> Why have the cruel gods chosen me for their... Oh, that's him, okay. Why have the cruel gods chosen me for their ghastly amusement? This, he's, this guy's voice is going to kill my <clears throat> my throat. <clears throat> the moment he sees you, the pitiful creature draws back in horror. Wait, I mean no harm! You sense the creature observing you with its yellow ghoulish eyes, barely visible behind the filthy rags. The outlandish being starts to talk in a ragged, in a ragged but strangely educated tone. Harm is the only thing you find brought to me. To think I once foolishly believed us to be kin. Leave me alone. The creature scares quickly away from you. No! Boy, camera, please. Wait, I love you. Oh, well, that's that, I guess. What an interesting fellow. Well, at least we don't have to talk like that. For now. 
until we meet again, my ghoulish friend. Protected by the mob. Bring the bullets. Take away the rations. What the hell is that? Unsolved mystery? I have no idea what it is. The cost of kerosene has increased dramatically since the pit's black ether swallowed by the sun. Swallowed the sun, jeez. Older out of production rifles populate these selves. By the looks of it, most of them would need extensive maintenance before they can be used. Why are you selling them then? This self has been the subject of many of your daydreams during your incarceration in Arkham. Vox faces food stores, keep starvation at bay for the populace. They must be grateful for this altruism. With no radio station left broadcasting in the vicinity, these Neutrodyne radio receivers have no function other than decoration. What is the thing I'm hearing then? I, Gamer, you're lying to me! Unless... This Wurlitzer jukebox is in prime condition and can play 24 popular songs, including Sweet Georgia Brown, The Sake of Araby, and Stardust, among others. If only Arkham still had ele electrical power. Still, how do we listen to music right now? This section is reserved for various garments and outdoors equipment. It's the most popular department after weapons and foodstuffs. This magazine rack is filled exclusively with raunchy and explicit sexual content, wink wink. The hotspots of fingerprints on the covers indicate that most customers browse through their pages at least once in order to satisfy their carnal urges. Also, the pages are kinda sticky. Hello. The man smiles silently. silently. Who are you? Behind the bars is a stern-looking man who looks deeply dissatisfied. Although he looks to be in his 60s, his presence invokes respect and fear. Say, are you here by something or just wasting my time? Who are you? Name's Joe Clemens. That's Mr. Clemens to you, darling. I'm someone you shouldn't be curious about. For only jeweler from the Cordellinis, Colonel fucking grocer of Arkham. Tortellinis? Are they related to Tortellinis? You live in a cave or something? The ruling family of Chicago, parents of the underworld. You came here from Chicago? Such brilliance! How did you make the connection? <laughs> Say, are you here to buy something or just wasting my time? What is that walk statue doing over here? Ah, you mean Honest Bill? He's dead. But they kept him around for decoration. Turned him into a statue. He used to own this place, see? Until he crossed the walk's face. Oh, so he turned him into decoration. Oof, that's grim. Can you guess what they did it? How they did it? <laughs> Poor Boylan walks over him from head to toe. <laughs> you should have heard the screams. Uh, that's enough, or do you want more details? Okay, Aaron Core, thank you so much for popping in. I'll see you later. Take care. Tell me about the, the guy. He is... He says it unwillingly. The boss. Not around much these days, though. He put me in charge of the pawn shop, so here I am. What a dead end. Let me give you some advice, darling. Do not ask about walk's face if you want to live. Now you're buying, or should I ask Charlie to make you leave? Is Charlie the smiling blonde fellow? Charlie's the smiling blonde fellow who can fill you with more lead than you'd need to build a fucking boat. Uh, another thing? Get lost, you ain't no buyer, just fucking waste time, time waster. How about a discount, Mr. Clements? How oh, about a smack in the face for my friend Charlie here? But I can bring you a lot of quality goods. I go to places that no one else does. Though you sure must be hung under the arse of this rotten town. And I don't like it when people stink. Fuck! Fuck you, dude! Oh man, that guy. But maybe you'll be some. <clears throat> maybe you'll be some. You'll. You'll. 
you'll be some use to me later. There's a place you could visit for me and earn your discount. I'll let you know. Until then, just another punk. Alright. No, you buying or should I ask Charlie? Uh, what, what are you selling? Why are you buying? What are you selling? Oh, you're selling a lot of cigs. And Russians. And weapons. Oh boy. <gasps> and he's got a top hat. Which is extremely expensive. Okay. A sleazy magazine. <laughs> Wait, excuse me? Oh, he's got three of those. Little women. Alcott's yearning for a dignified, independent, independent life is captured in this major work. I get the feeling that books are important in this game. Well forged gold ring, a well forged silver ring, Swiss made silver pocket watch, lockpicks. We don't have lockpicks or rope. I'll be back later. Bye. Love you.